Some of the subject lines, Tom, back to you. Some of the subject lines that you might want to share. Uh, we we actually co co uh, written this one, so uh, you can you can actually share some of your experience. Yeah, so uh, I've been using uh, quite a different subject lines. Like we report every type of subject that we have, so we're able to actually see that open right. That's what subject lines do, right? Um, so we found a couple of cool ones that do work. Um, talking with Dad, just putting like, hey, the number one sales mistake is right. Leave them with some curiosity. That way, they're gonna probably. Gonna that email see what that is i'm curious what it is right um hey can you write any email that copy that converts right have a question right um the biggest one my favorite ones putting a first name putting their name put the company name whatever it might be that is my favorite when i walk you through my sequence you're going to see it in every single subject line right um you can also do very something that um i guess ways you can relate with them so if you know they have an early um early stage sales team if you know they're a startup Write that in the email, right? That shows that you know who you're talking to. Um, so there's a couple more there, but hey, we'll leave that guys for you, okay? Right, again, you could do even the longer lengthy subject lines because you see, we really expected that the short sub subject lines are the best and, and they really do perform well in most of the situations. So when, you're, when, you, when, when you don't have time and you're debating, just do a short subject line, okay? But then also your sales guys can get creative. I'll just use one example. This is just a cold email hashtag. We use this uh, as, as just a funny, funny subject line. Our, our VP of sales, Adrian, used that way back when. Uh, and uh, and it, it, honestly, you'll see the email later on. It was, it was just hilarious. And, and he received like, I think over 50% reply rate. So it was a huge engagement. But then like it always happens in, in, in marketing and sales, it's a bell curve. So if you overuse something, very soon you're gonna find yourself at the, the other side of the, the bell curve or, or the extreme. So it's you kind of, you should change, uh, change your game. Thank <music> you.